All right, guys, today we're out camping and we're setting up a Gazelle T4 tent. Um, these tents are super easy to set up, supposedly. They come in this, you know, I guess it's a big bag. Where is the belt? Strap down. So here's the rain fly, here's the tent. I guess that's easy, only two pieces to it. Velcro retention strap around the tent. All right, All right. let's see Olivia, do you wanna time me? How long do you think it's gonna take? These tents take probably under a minute to set up, so let's give it a shot. So yeah, under, under 30 seconds, I'm halfway done already. All right, so now that it's half, half set up ready, take this rain fly, which has the poles already sewn into it, so you can't lose the poles, they're not loose. Take this and just give her a toss up. These poles go in each corner. Super easy, super quick. Oh, if I can aim. Here's when the magic happens. Yeah. Climb on in the door and just pop it up from the inside. Hey, there's a screen in my way. Okay. <laughs> now you climb into the door. Give it a good push. And wow, tent's all set up pretty much. Kind of clip these puppies down here. We're ready to camp. All right, so now that we have our Gazelle T4 set up, I just ran some guy lines from the hubs. That'll keep the walls out and it should be secure enough to keep our tent in place. To get in the tent, there's two D-shaped D doors. Um, on the outside, there's this waterproof material, but you can also just have mesh if you want airflow. Come on in. So this base here is about eight feet by eight feet. I think it's uh, 92 by 92 inches or 94 by 94. It's pretty darn big. Um, in the center here, from the ground all the way up, is about six feet, five inches of head clearance. So I'm six feet two. And as you can see, there's a lot of space above my head and I'm standing straight up. Um, <laughs> so yes, uh, there's also a lot of storage in here. This thing clips on into these eyelets here and you can put a light up here, storage up there. You have storage here on the sidewall that goes in both ends. You have storage down here on four corners. Um, there's also a lot of ventilation. The entire roof is all mesh. So this allows a lot of airflow in and out. All these windows, you can zip down and roll up into the pockets. So you don't have to worry about that flopping around in the breeze. You can also zip it all the way up. And now the outside of that is waterproof. So you don't have to worry about it getting wet. Um, another great feature about this tent is that the floor is fully Velcroed. So down here, um, you can, it's tough Velcro but you can Velcro the floor all the way out. So if it gets muddy, if it gets a hole in it, if you need to replace it for any reason, you can easily do that and replace it or wash it. Um, but the Velcro is very tough, which is a good thing because it's not gonna come on Velcroed. And this is the tub style bottom, um, which is super strong. I think it's 300 denier material. I don't know my exact number. And I think the tent is 220 denier. So they're pretty waterproof, highly water resistant and strong stuff. So we'll climb on out and uh, we're spending the night and uh, tomorrow night and tonight in this tent. So at the end of the weekend, we'll let you know how it goes and hopefully we love it. All right, it's at the end of our trip. Time to take down our tent and see how easy it is. First, you just kind of pop in the middle. You can do that from the outside or the inside. Pop that down. Do the exact opposite of setting it up. Just grab the four corners, pull them out.
Now, I'm gonna set the rain fly off to the side because um, it's a little wet, so we're gonna try to flop it dry and fold it up later. And then to take down the rest of the tent, you literally just push in the walls. Flop it up. Squeeze all the air out. Alright, once you got it bundled up like this, you got like a retention strap to go around it with. That just helps kind of cinch it up a little bit. Then we'll bring it over to the bag. Shove the skinny end or where the hubs are kind of into the butt. So that's all in the bag. All it's left to do is fold up the rain fly and shove it in there. All right, now we got the rain fly all kind of folded up. Just gonna shove it. Oh. Shove it in the side. All right, once you kind of got it shoved in the side, the zipper should be able to work its way around it. zip it up. The bags are um, supposedly bigger than they need to be so it's easy to fit it in. I didn't have to wrestle it too much and now we're ready to go camp again.